Francis P. Salem, born August 18, 1933, sometimes spelled Salemi, also known as Cadillac Frank and Julian Daniel Zelig, is an American mobster from Boston, Massachusetts who became a hitman and eventually the boss of the patriarchal crime family of New England before turning government witness. Early years Salem became acquainted with patriarchal family mobster Anthony Morelli in 1957 while in prison. He started working with Morelli in criminal activities after getting out of prison, and he quickly gained stature in the patriarchal family as an associate, although he could not become a made man or full member. Patriarcha boss Raymond Patriarcha respected Salem for his obedience to the family and his skill as a money maker, but he only allowed full-blooded Italians to become made men, and Salem was part Irish from his mother and Salem, nay Haverty. During the early 1960s, Salem participated in the Irish gang wars in Boston. Testifying before Congress in 2003, Salem admitted to murdering numerous rival gang members in Charlestown, Massachusetts. The Hughes's, the McLaughlins, they were all eliminated, and I was a participant in just about all of them, planned them and did them. In 1968, Salem arranged the car bombing of John Fitzgerald, a lawyer representing Patriarcha mob informant Joseph Barbosa. The point of the attack was to scare Barbosa into not testifying against Raymond Patriarcha and other mob leaders. Fitzgerald survived the attack, but lost his left leg. It was later established in testimony by several witnesses and confirmed by the U.S. House of Representatives Organized Crime Unit investigation that Salem was involved in the bombing, but did not carry it out. After the unsuccessful attack, Salem went into hiding. He remained a fugitive until 1972, when he was captured by FBI agent John Connolly in Manhattan. He was convicted and sentenced to prison for 16 years. During the trial of retired FBI agent John Connolly, Salem denied murdering a nightclub owner named Stephen DeSaro in 1994. Two years later, however, Steve Flemmy was immunized and told U.S. attorneys Fred Wyshak and Brian Kelly that he saw Salem participate in the murder. Salem went back to jail when he was finished testifying against Connolly and there he bragged to a fellow inmate that the prosecutors had coached him to commit perjury and that he had committed so much perjury that he should be sentenced to jail for a hundred years. The inmate was an informant who wrote down his confession and it is memorialized in law enforcement reports. Instead of charging Salem with the murder of DeSaro, Wyshak and Kelly merely charged him with perjury and obstruction. A secret plea bargain was struck and he was sentenced to little more than time already served. Mob rivalry in 1986, family boss Jerry Angualo had been sent to prison on racketeering charges, leaving a power vacuum in the patriarchal family. In previous years, Salem had forged strong ties to Wadi Bulger and the mostly Irish Winter Hill Gang. Salem was especially close to Bulger's Lieutenant Steve Flemmy, who by this time had been a federal informant for ten years. In early 1989, soon after his release from prison, Salem attempted to gain control of the Patriarcha family. Patriarcha Krupa regime Joseph Russo opposed Salem's move, fearing the loss of his lucrative rackets. In June 1989, Angelo Sonny Mercurio, a Russo loyalist, lured Salem to a meeting outside of Saugus, Massachusetts IHOP. Gunmen then ambushed Salem, wounding him in the chest and leg. The feud between Salem and Russo continued until John Gotti, the boss of the New York Gambino crime family, brokered a peace agreement. Under the agreement, Salem loyalist Nicholas Bianco became boss and Russo became consigliere. By 1991 Salem, with the support of Bulger and Flemmy, had become the de facto boss of the patriarchal family. Sting operation during the 1990s, at the urging of Frank Salem, Jr., Frank, Sr. started extorting money from a film crew that wanted to avoid paying high salaries to union workers while filming in Boston and Providence, Rhode Island. As it turned out, the film crew was actually a Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, front. In 
These events were highly fictionalized in the 2004 film The Last Shot. At the end of the operation, Frank Sr. was arrested in Fort Lauderdale, Florida and charged with racketeering, crossing state lines for criminal activity, extortion, conspiracy, and loan sharking. Government informant in January 1995, Salem was indicted on racketeering charges along with Bulger and Flemmy. Salim was convicted and sentenced to 11 years imprisonment. In 1999, while serving his racketeering sentence, Salim learned that both Bulger and Flemmy had been FBI informants for many years, and that both men had provided information on Salim to their FBI handlers. Salim now agreed to provide the government with information on the FBI handling of Bulger and Flemmy. Salim's testimony would help convict Connolly, the same man who had arrested him 20 years earlier in New York, on racketeering charges. In 2003, in return for assisting the government, Salim was released early from prison and brought into the Federal Witness Protection Program. Shortly after his release, Salim appeared before a congressional committee to testify on the Connolly case. 2018 murder conviction on June 22, 2018, Salam was convicted of the murder of 43-year-old Stephen A. DeSaro, who disappeared in May 1993. DeSaro's remains were unearthed from behind a mill turned apartments in Wanskuk, Rhode Island on March 31, 2016. Patriarch Mob Associate William Ricci, who owned the apartment complex, faced gun and drug charges after authorities found over 1,400 marijuana plants and a stolen handgun at the property around August 2015, three weeks after a plea deal was worked out, the remains were recovered at the property. Judge Allison Burroughs sentenced Salem and former patriarchal crime family associate and accomplice, Paul Weddock, to life in prison on September 13, 2018. According to former Winter Hill gang member and Whitey Bulger associate, Stephen Flemmy, Salim stood by and watched as his son strangled DeSaro while Wedek held his legs. According to authorities, Salim believed DeSaro was informing on him after he was contacted by authorities in the investigation of Salim's illegal activity within the Channel nightclub. Assistant U.S. Attorney Fred Wyshak said that Salim admitted to murdering eight people during the 1960s and was suspected of involvement in six additional murders in the early 1990s. Salem is held at the United States Penitentiary, Hazleton. References External links Boston Globe profile of Francis Salem Boston.com Local newsman who helped bug the Mafia dead at 70 American Mafia.com Mob War in Beantown the second by Alan May The Chicago Syndicate Cadillac Frank Salem gets five years in prison.